Hi everybody, it's Allie with Vintage Discoveries here with some vintage jewelry haul and preview for the next sale. And a few things I picked up for myself. Uh, I'm going to make a necklace, I hope, uh, with these graduated opals. Went to a bead show in the city. Tons and tons of nice stuff. Kind of overwhelming, but you know, this is really what I was looking and hoping for. So, a lot of nice flash there, faceted, um, graduated, which I didn't realize until a few minutes ago. I wanted them to all the same size. I don't know why. I think I got overwhelmed with looking at so many, but yeah, I'm going to make a necklace. So, that I'm excited about. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, these. Got these on whatnot. They're more sterling. I think the posts are definitely sterling. And this is gold tone and silver tone. Dangly fishes. Posts. I love how it swirls around there. Those are adorable. Got those. I picked up this ring. Looks like citrine. And it's supposed to be sterling. Have not tested it. When I find my tester, I certainly will do that. But I do like the design of it. Oh, wearing a little watch ring. Then I ordered this custom made from Deb Tiny Deer Vintage. Uh, I can link her in the description. She makes these glass mermaid. Uh, bead necklaces. I like that it has a nice big clasp on it. And got it my size because I like the size. I like 17 inch. 18 is a little too long for me. 16 is a little too short. So this is perfect. Um, it doesn't really do it justice in person. It's so pretty when you put it on. You see the flashes just like with opals. So really love that. And couple things that will be in the sale. Um, this is, if you have uh, some kind of great memory in 1974, this is a Noritake uh, bell. It's got the dinger wrapped up still. I have a tag on it for $9. Really pretty. Christmas. And I have a few vintage candles. This adorable snowman. Love him. Then this old, really old tree candle. Says to keep it out of drafts. Um, this Santa. Little squished baby doll in there. It's amazing these survived. I mean, even if you didn't burn them, you know, keeping them away from any kind of heat is really important. This is a Lennox um why am I forgetting words? So it's just got a little schmutz. Uh snowman. Very pretty. Lennox stuff is still so pretty. And then I have two of these guys. I'm wondering if they were originally a set of like Snow White and the, the dwarfs there. These are really old. Very cute. One has a, a hangy thing. I'm not sure if the other one has a hangy thing. No, doesn't have a hangy thing anymore. But you could stand them up on the mantle or just stick them in the tree. They're very cute. Then I have these, which are super duper old. I believe, yeah, let me see what it says. This one's been repaired. Uh, Shanghai, China. Yeah, this has been repaired. But they're like plaster, Mr. and Mrs. Claus, pencil sharpeners. 
You would think salt and pepper shakers, but no. They are really old and cute. Could use a cleaning, okay. Then I have a lot of the characters from, I believe it, I thought I wrote it down. This is the girl elf. She has kind of like a magnet in her head that's supposed to keep the, the little bit on there. I believe it's from Rudolph. So that's the girl elf. And then I have two of these. I think this was the head elf. Yeah, Rudolph. Um, and this is the elf, the foreman. Yeah. He also... <laughs> I don't know how it goes. Maybe sideways like that. Head elf. He was kind of angry. Remember him? A little bit on the angry side. This guy. They all have hats. But you just got to figure out which way they go. <laughs> is this his hat or what? I think it is. Yeah. Maybe not. His head seems a little bit tiny for that one. There we go. And you feel it? There's like a little magnet. Yep. He's one of the elves. A little cutie. Then I have this guy. I think this is his hat. If that makes sense, right? No, you can feel the magnet in that one too. Another kind of Elf guy. This is Tanta Kringle, yes. And her little ankle broke when she was ice skating, so it was repaired. Tanta Kringle. Boop, boop. Like that. And these are like the accessories. I think it was from also Rudolph. This might have been like the um, Island of Misfit toys. Because I have the Island of Misfit toys choo-choo train. I have two of the front ones. And... One of the cabooses. Yes, Island of Misfit Toys. Choo choo. These are so cute. Another elf. With his hat. I have another one of the elves. These are so cute. And he has a, a hammer because he's making the toys. And another angry one. I could just picture him yelling. Rudolph uh, Elf Fort Reform. This one had a broken ankle too. These guys got to stop, stop ice skating. But yeah. All of these Christmas extravaganza goodies. And then, of course, I have a plethora of jewelry. This is my favorite. He's the most jolly and adorable, isn't he? I love that one. He's so cute. Who's that? Yeah. Cute little earrings. These are pierced, as it says. Little hollies. Oh, and this is still available from the prior sale. Beautiful. Um, 
I have this ornament, which is metal, and it has kind of been like a um, cloisonne enameling on it. Very pretty. And, oh my goodness, a whole bunch of more stuff. A whole bunch more. Uh, maybe I'll do a part two because there's a lot of stuff. I don't want to get anybody overwhelmed. Especially me. This little pin. Talk about adorable. So I'm going to do a part two. Um, that's the Christmas stuff. And then there's a whole bunch of jewelry that I have for sale. But this was just kind of like the pre-show. But um, I'll definitely, you know, be checking my email if you want to purchase anything. And it's um, vintage.discovery21 at gmail.com. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.